okay this one is for driver circuit this one is for controller and we will provide a supply to this controller directly and here we will get the pulses okay generated from the controller and given it to the buffer ic for buffer ic also we need supply for that from controller itself 5 volt 3.3 volt option is there we will take the supply from 5 volt and provide it to buffer ic for driver ic from this transformer 232 12 volt transformer we will step down and we will rectify it and that rectified voltage will be provided as supply for the driver ic's okay pulses will be provided for buffer ic and from buffer ic to driver ic using this resistance and then the output of the buffer ic is provided to this mosfet okay here in this this is the power circuit okay this, uh, there are also two supplies one is pv panel and another one is battery pv panel is connected to this voltage regulation circuit 12 volt voltage regulation circuit that will be connected to battery in parallel and the supply will be at the same time will be given to the half bridge llc converter okay here when this switch is on okay this switch will be off so from the supply it is given to the switch to the capacitor and to this primary windings okay these primary windings also are connected in parallel and again to this capacitor then to ground okay so uh, at the time both the capacitor and the inductor will be charged when this switch is on sorry off this switch will be on at the same at the time the capacitor will provide the supply to the inductor okay so we will get continuous supply and that will be uh, pro provided to the load when the vehicle is passing through this okay here when the vehicle is passing through the we will get load we will see now Passes through the second winding of the, in the road, then it passes through third winding, then it passes through fourth winding. Okay, through the when the wind, it passes through the winding when it is aligned, we will get maximum voltage, and the voltage will start to reduce when it passes uh, through after that alignment. When it goes to the second one, we will get again that same voltage. When it goes to the next winding, we will get the same voltage.